Thank you for joining us for NBC4 Midday. I'm Monica Day, developing right now a former Ohio State national champion and NFL first round draft pick was in court this morning. Darren Lee, a member of Ohio State's 2014 title winning team, was arrested on Monday on domestic violence charges. NBC4's Matthew Herchick was in the courtroom for that appearance. Matthew, what can you tell us? Good morning, Monica. Well, we've learned that the charges stem from two separate incidents involving two separate women. The first of those occurred last October. The most recent incident happened just yesterday at a home in Dublin. Now, this is Darren Lee here appearing via video call in a Franklin County courtroom this morning. According to court records, Dublin police were called to the home in Dublin around 530 yesterday after a woman reported Lee to be physically assaulting another woman in the house. An affidavit reveals that Lee allegedly pushed that woman against the wall twice, then threw her to the floor and struck her in the face and head eight to nine times with his closed fist. Police said that that woman had injuries to her face and head and had to be taken to the hospital for treatment for her injuries. Now, yesterday's incident allegedly stems from that first case back in October. In that incident, Lee allegedly threw a phone striking a woman in the head, causing her ear to bleed. He allegedly choked her and punched a pillow beside her head several times before lifting her up by her neck and dropping her to the ground. He also allegedly threatened to kill her during that argument. Now, police issued, excuse me, the judge issued a $20,000 bond on both cases this morning and has ordered Lee to stay away from both victims and the incident locations. Lee, who, according to court records, is a Florida resident, is also not to leave the state of Ohio at this time. Now, we've also learned that the woman who reported yesterday's incident is the same woman who is the victim in that first case back in October. Now, both women have requested temporary protection orders against Lee, who a next court date has not yet been set for. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Matthew Herchick, NBC4. Matthew, thank you. And this is a developing situation. For the latest, download the NBC4 News app and stay with us here on NBC4.